During a media briefing today, prison authorities addressed recent reports about allegations of food poisoning at the institution. It was reported that two prisoners had gone on a hunger strike because prison officers allegedly threatened to poison their food. Chief Officer of Her Majesty's Prison, Rupert Nichols, says the matter was investigated and they have concluded that the reports were false. We had to take immediate action because poison in prison is a serious issue. Having said that, we did what we were supposed to do. We had launched a thorough investigation immediately and the investigation concluded and we found that there were two inmates who we had confined to the maximum security block that fabricated the whole issue about the poison. To date, searches were carried out internally and externally, and no poisonous substance was found inside the prison or on the compound. Public Relations Officer Gerald Jones believes that the allegations were concocted to achieve certain objectives. He reports that his life is in advertent danger by means of poisoning. Yes. He used this one one time too many. Mm. The fact is, for many reasons, because of our rehabilitative candidness, we try to facilitate persons. We try our best to facilitate persons. We bend over backwards. This is one time where that inmate would like to thank him because he would put prison in its proper security perspective. Security mechanisms will be stepped up as of immediately to deal with persons like that and everyone else. We will spare no effort in keeping the peace here. Social worker at the prison, Christopher Stroud, also addressed claims by prisoners that rehabilitation programs were being chopped. The has three aspects to it. It's what the inmates want. In a sense that we can't force any inmate to participate in any of the programs that we have. And the individual has to choose and decide that he wants or she wants to change. Create the environment, the enabling environment inside here to make it possible for persons who want to change, to change. And the third aspect of the rehabilitation program is the aftercare. What support does that individual have when he leaves or she leaves the prison? That in itself could affect whether the person returned to the prison or not. And that the media is really careful in terms of who they take information from in relation to what is going on. Because what it does, it could send a bad signal in terms of in internationally as to what is actually taking place. So people reading it abroad that things are chaotic, it could affect auto tourist industry. And the fact is, what has been said is not true. The prison officers urge people to be vigilant and work together with police to maintain law and order. Janelle MacDonald, GBN News.